first task in part two is to create a loopback on the router. So on the router interface a loopback is zero IP address and I'll create it as follows. So show run shows us the loopback interface and IP address on the router. Show start at the moment doesn't show us that. We don't have a loopback interface configured. But if I save the configuration and type show start again, notice we can see that the loopback is now part of the startup configuration. We're now told to copy the startup configuration from the TFTP server to the startup configuration of the router. So copy TFTP start. Before I do that, remember that show start or show startup config shows us the loopback in the configuration. But when I copy the configuration from the TFTP server, will the configuration be overwritten? So the source file is r1 start config, and I'm going to copy it to the startup config of the router. So now when I type show start, notice the loopback has been removed. Startup configurations are overwritten. So the running config currently has the loopback configured. If I save the running configuration, in other words, do a copy running config startup config, the startup configuration is overwritten with the running configuration. So the startup config now contains the loopback interface. But if I copy the configuration from the TFTP server to the startup config of the router, that original config on the TFTP server doesn't contain a loopback. So now when I type show startup config, the loopback interface has been removed because of the configuration on the TFTP server has overwritten the startup config of the router. So step five, verify that the startup config no longer has the loopback interface. We've verified that, that is true. Startup configurations are overwritten. But what happens with the current configuration? So we told to copy the current config to the TFTP server. So copy running config TFTP. And I'm going to call this R1 run v2 config. So now on the TFTP server, I have both the original running configuration and the running configuration that I've just copied. Now we're told to delete the loopback interface on the router. At the moment, the router has a loopback interface configured. So no interface loopback is zero. Show IP interface brief. Loopback interface has been removed. Show run. There's no loopback interface on the router. But let's copy the configuration from the TFTP server to the running configuration of the router. The file that we're going to copy is R1 v2 config. So R1 v2 config. Copy that to the running configuration. That's now been done. And notice the loopback interface has come up. So show IP interface brief. Our loopback interface has reappeared. Show run loopback interface is back. Routers do mergers of running configurations, not overriding. And we can prove that by copying the previous running config from the TFTP server to the router. When we originally created this running config, there was no loopback interface configured on the router. We configured that in task two, not in task one. So the router does have a loopback interface at the moment. 
But if I say copy TFTP running configuration and copy the original config to the running configuration, what you'll notice is the loopback interface still exists. This is a merge of configurations. The configuration will only be overwritten if there's a conflict, but the running configuration on the TFTP server didn't have a loopback interface. The running configuration on the router did, so it wasn't removed. But notice the difference now. If I change the loopback interface of the router to another IP address, and now copy the running configuration from the TFTP server to the router, but use this version 2 config where there's a conflict. And I'll do that again. Notice the IP address of the router has been changed. So again, if I change the loopback IP address to this again, so that it looks like that, and then copy the configuration from the TFTP server to the router, and do a show IP interface brief again, this has been overwritten. So if there's a conflict, the config that's copied into running config overrides the conflicting information. But if there's no conflict, so the router has something that's not on the TFTP server, that's not removed. So if I created a separate loopback, loopback 2, this loopback interface will not be removed because that loopback is not in conflict with the configuration on the TFTP server. In other words, the TFTP server doesn't have loopback 2. So the loopback interface still exists, even though I've done copy TFTP to running config. Copying to running configuration is a merge, whereas copying to startup config is an overwriting of the configuration.